Hey guys, what's up? It's Defect. Um, I'm here to show you, I kind of, you know, missed a couple things in my last video, and I realized that some of the beginners out there who are just getting into programming aren't going to understand some of the basic things I used, so I figured I'd go into them in a, you know, bit more detailed fashion. Uh, I'm going to run through it pretty quickly, though, because uh, it's pretty basic stuff, so if you don't understand it, uh, just, you know, go back through the video, watch it again, look at the code, and it's, it's pretty straightforward stuff, so you should get the hang of it. Alright, so my for my first example that I've got here, I'm starting off with the cl clear home, which all that does is it clears anything that's existing on the screen. So if you start the program, it's got text on the screen. So by clearing the home, uh, that you know all that text will be gone, and you're you're given a blank screen to start your program with. Prompt A, it's doing exactly what it says. It's prompting for an A value, so it's asking the user what it wants. You know what you want to set A to. I could be using any variable. I could be using B, I could be using X, I could be using theta, I could be using H. I'm just going to use A though for now. Um, so I'm going to prompt A and then below that I'm going to display A. Uh, all these again are found in if you hit the program key and you scroll across there's three three columns. Uh, these are all found within you know that area. Uh, display A, what this is doing is it's going to display on the next available line. So since this prompt A is on the first line, the next available line will be the second line. So it will display whatever you put in for A. So if I put in 5, it'll display 5. If I put in 10, it'll display 10. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then this right here is just to show you that if you put quotes around it, it will just display the text that's within the quotes. It won't display... Um, you know what you put in for A it will just display A. So as you can see below, this is what it would look like when you r run the program. Uh, a, it'll prompt for A. So what the calculator does when it does that is shows your variable that you want to prompt equals question mark, and then the user can put in what they want. Then uh, after they hit enter, it'll display whatever they put in, and it uh, an, it has to be a number because um, you're not putting in a string. That that's a bit more complicated. I'll explain that later. Um, and then below that it displays A because that's all I'm telling it to do in the last line there is because I'm using the quotes. That's just you know an example so you know not to use quotes if you're trying to display the value of a variable. Alright, um, this next section that I've got here um, at the bottom you can see I'm starting again with clear home and if I want to prompt for multiple variables I can use commas so I can prompt for A, B, and C on one line rather than saying prompt A, prompt B, prompt C, I can do it all on one line. So I'm prompting for three variables, asking you know the user what they want those to equal, and then I'm also displaying all three and I'm doing that again on one line as opposed to doing it in three separate lines. So the way that would look in the program would be A equals question mark, you know you put it in, same for B and C, then it displays the values that you put in. So if I put in two for A, display two, four for B, displays four, six for C, displays six pretty straightforward stuff. Alright, and I've got two more examples for you guys. Alright, this one, we're going to use an input function because input gives you more uh, freedom in how you want uh, to ask for the input. So again, start with clear home. You want to make sure you always have that in there. Uh, input, and then in here, between the quotes, you put in what you want to be displayed on the screen. So in the past, when you prompted for something, it would display, I'm going to put it under here, it would display A equals this. But by by using an input, I can tell it what, it want, what I want it to display. So here it says your text, and then you're inputting A, you know, directly after right here. I could put in 2, 4, whatever. Or you could change this to input, you know, and then it inputs the variable directly after that. So that just gives you some more freedom. And then the proper way to form this uh, statement is input the quotes of the text you want, comma, and then the variable you want. So, you know, I'm p inputting A here, and then I'm just displaying A. So as, you know, as it displays down here, when you run the program, it prompts the text that you put. And you don't need a colon here. I know all the things I use have a colon. That's just because it inputs in the next available spot. So if I didn't have that, it would just I'd be putting the number here, and that doesn't look too good. So by doing putting the colon, it just looks a bit nicer in the program, and then it just displays the value that you put in uh, underneath. Uh, and then finally, after that, I've got one more uh, clear home, 
and then input and since I don't have any text in between the quotes it's not going to display anything but it will still be receiving user input for that um, so I'm still inputting a but it's not displaying that the you know a program is accepting a response it's just a blank screen so it'll input blank screen for a then I'm gonna set a to five more than what uh, it was before so a plus five store to a uh, that's just what you use to set variables and the store button can be found to the left of the one key on your calculator um, this is just used you know f in to generally set variables to set strings to set you know anything you need to set a variable you use that so I'm taking a so whatever I put in if I put in two or if I put in five it's taking five plus five and now that's the new a so it'll display 10. If I put in 10, it would display 15. Um, and then this is just showing, you know, that's all it would display on the screen would be uh, if I put in 5, it would say 5 at the top, and then when I hit enter, it would display 10 because it's adding 5. Uh, that's a uh, that's basically it. Um, in my in future videos, you know, I'll be display or explaining output functions, and that gives you more freedom of where you want to display stuff. Uh, because an input in a display and an input limits where you can um, you know display text and it limits you know just you don't have as much freedom in what you want to do with the program when you're using a display as opposed to an output uh, but that's that's for a future video so check back later for you know more advanced stuff and hopefully this helps if you have any questions comments anything like that just post it in the the video comments or you know PM me or email me and I'll be sure to get back to you